Congratulations! You are now the owner of a total knee from Osir, designed for natural, safe and efficient walking. The rest of this short DVD will help you to understand how to get the most out of your new total knee, as well as understand a bit more about what makes it so effective. Please note, the Total Knee 1900 is designed for individuals who tend to walk at a slower, more constant speed, possibly using a walking aid. Total Knee 2000 is for those who are able to walk at different speeds, including fast-paced walking. Total Knee 2100 is for those who have a very dynamic gait at different speeds, are heavy in weight and do sports. Walking. The seven axes of the knee work together in a way that will shorten the length of it while your foot is off the ground and swinging forward to take the next step. Once the knee is fully extended and straight, it locks tight, making it exceptionally stable. The lock will not release until you move forward onto the toe area, as you prepare to take the next step. Then, as you swing your prosthetic leg forward, the knee automatically compacts in length. That action gives you better toe clearance as you walk, reducing the risk of you stubbing your toe and stumbling. So what does all this mean in practice? The locking mechanism provides a high degree of stability, preventing the knee from flexing or collapsing during heel contact, provided that the knee is fully extended. When the knee is locked, you may feel it bending ever so slightly when your weight is on it. This is the shock absorber mimicking the action of the human knee. But don't worry, the geometric lock is still activated and the knee will not collapse. That means you can put your weight on it with confidence, safe in the knowledge that the lock will only release as you start taking the weight off your prosthetic foot and move forward onto the other leg. This release point can be adjusted by your prosthetist if necessary, as can the shock absorber. You can also have an extension assist built on your knee, so that you have that extra help if needed. As you start taking your weight off your prosthetic foot, the knee will start to move, bending very naturally and safely. As you reach the end of stance phase, the period when your foot is in contact with the ground, the knee unlocks automatically, allowing you to swing your leg forward. Your prosthetist can adjust the swinging of the knee in both directions to suit your walking speed, or a variety of walking speeds, in the case of the Total Knee 2000 and Total Knee 2100. Just as the leg starts to swing forward, the knee compacts, making the length shorter for a moment. The benefits of this increased space between your leg and the ground include a much more natural gait. There's no need to swing your foot out to the side in order to clear the ground, what's often called hip hiking. The added safety factor is that you're far less likely to catch your toe and take a stumble as a result. Sitting The total knee has a wide range of motion, which means sitting down comes naturally to its users. When you want to sit down, it helps if you position your prosthetic foot slightly behind the other. Shift your weight forward at the hips and then flex your thighs. The locking mechanism in the total knee will then release and allow you to collapse the knee. It is important to remember that the knee will not provide any support or resistance as you sit, since the geometric lock is not activated while the knee is bent, 
so use your sound leg to control how fast you sit down. You may find it easier to use a chair with armrests, particularly if you are a new or bilateral amputee. Kneeling To kneel, take one step forward with the sound limb. Unlock the knee by shifting your weight forward onto the ball of the prosthetic foot. Lower yourself gently down using your sound limb until your total knee is on the ground. Walking up slopes. Take the first step onto the slope with your prosthesis. Transfer your weight onto the heel of the prosthetic foot. Allow your body to progress steadily forward over the entire foot. As your weight approaches the ball of the prosthetic foot, the locking mechanism will release. Flex the thigh and swing the prosthesis forward. The additional toe clearance provided by the shortening movement of the total knee when it is off the ground and swinging forward into the next step really helps to prevent the toe dragging on the slope as you walk up. Walking down slopes Take the first step onto the slope with your prosthesis. Transfer your weight onto the heel of the prosthetic foot. Allow your body to progress steadily forward over the entire foot. As your weight approaches the ball of the prosthetic foot, the locking mechanism will release and the knee will bend. The sound foot should be in front of you and ready to receive weight. If you are a new amputee or the slope is quite steep, you should approach with caution and make use of available railings for added security. Start by practicing a step or two near the bottom of a slope where it meets level ground. On steep slopes, you will find it easier to sidestep your way down with the total knee. Walking downstairs. Walking downstairs can take some getting used to, especially for new amputees. Compared to other mechanical knees, Total Knee offers some of the highest levels of confidence and security, but it is always worth using a handrail when going downstairs. Position the prosthetic foot on the step with the heel to the back of the step and the ball of the foot behind the edge of the step. Transfer your weight forward to the ball of the foot with the knee straightened and then rapidly flex the thigh to release the knee. The knee will collapse immediately and the sound limb will drop down to the next step with some impact. Cleaning Guidelines The total knee is durable and hard-working and should not give you any problems. If you have a cosmetic cover, you will not need to clean the knee. If you use it uncovered and it gets dirty, you can wipe the knee with a soft cloth, moistened if necessary with a small amount of kerosene. Do not use any other cleaning substance, as you may damage the knee. Remember, if you have any concerns about the function or condition of your total knee, always talk to your prosthetist. And, as you get used to the knee and become more confident, you may benefit from adjustments that can be made to the swinging motion, the shock absorber or the locking point of the knee. We hope you found this short film useful. More importantly, we at OSA hope that you will enjoy your new total knee and that it will enhance your quality of life, a life without limitations. For more information, please visit www.osa.com.